Hi everyone, welcome to Sage's Garage. Today I received an exciting package for Pascal. So that is where we are right now. And I want to take a moment to appreciate this very cool Pascal sweater. And it says Sage's Garage. Literally so cool. I am so obsessed. I love it. I'm glad that it's getting cooler now so that I can start wearing it more. So don't be surprised if you see it a lot on this channel. Today's package is from Oxalum and it is their car battery jump starter, which is really great because if you don't already know all the drama with this car, there is a very weird battery with it. The battery's fine, but there was a weird power draw and so they put in a main switch so that I turn it off and it turns off all the accessories in the car. So the wind windows, the trunk, the gas tank, things like that. I can't open unless I turn the switch on. So I have already had this battery down me once. I wasn't the one driving the car, but this car battery has died once while it's been in my ownership. And I know before that it died many times. So I am very excited to have a portable jump starter with me because I have been worried countless times that it is gonna die on me when I'm out. And I really don't wanna have to worry about that. So I am really thankful to Oxalim for sending me this package because I won't have have to stress about that anymore. All right, let's see what's in the package. Ta-da, here it is, the Oxalum Jump Starter. I do wanna quickly read to you the product specifications. So the product name is Jump Starter. The model is Y2. Capacity is 44.4 WH and the start voltage is 12 volts. Oh, it comes in a nice case. That's really nice. I really like that it comes in a case because that way it gets stored in my car safely. It's not banging around, hitting anything, and it also looks nice. I have a user manual, which I will definitely have a look at. Make sure to always look at user manuals, especially when dealing with this kind of stuff. I have a USB cable here. I have my positive and negative clamp. And this case is really nice. So it has the jump starter in here and it has it all sealed in there so it's not just loose. It has a flap and then it has another pocket for the cables. I really like this. It seems to be really well thought out and I just like the quality of it. I will say right away, it is very lightweight compared to what I was expecting. And I have heard that these are more lightweight than other ones on the market, which is nice because especially if I'm by myself, I don't wanna be having to lug around some heavy object in my car and then get it out of the trunk and bring it over to the engine. So this is really nice and very user friendly. On the side here, there are several ports. There are There is a USB out, USB-C out, and USB-C in. That's great. Then on this side, it has a little car with the hood up, and that is where this other part of the cables will plug into. I'm gonna take a moment and read through the manual. All right, I read over the instructions, and we're gonna see if it turns on. I'm not sure if it's gonna be charged or not. I haven't charged it yet, but we'll have a look. I'm gonna hold it. Oh, it is, okay, amazing. It is 89% charged, which is pretty good. I mean, I just took it out of the package. I do want to try, first of all, there are a few things I want to try. If I press and hold, it's saying that this is a flashlight. Oh, it is. Okay, so there's that, and then that changed it to strobe, and then I think the next one is SOS. Okay, that's good. So that's really good for safety. And then if I and then if I press it again, it turns off. So that's really good that it has those different modes for the lighting. Um, I also found out that the reason it has a different charging. First of all, the one cable it came with is to charge the actual device. But I can actually use this to charge other things. So let's say I'm stranded and my phone is dead, but I have this in the car and this is charged. Guess what? I can use this to charge my phone, which is really exciting. So this is so handy and I'm really glad that I'm gonna have this in the car because this is definitely very useful and very good for safety. Now, because it's at 89, I want to try and plug it in. I could plug it in inside, but it's saying I can plug it in and charge it for my car as well. Now, like I said, because I have some weird battery problems, I'm not sure this is gonna kill my battery, but I'd rather try now when it's okay that it kills my battery. And guess what, if it does, then we can test out the jump starter. So really, we are just going to wing it. Now I have my CarPlay screen here that I reviewed in my last video on Pascal. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my cigarette lighter. And then what I'm going to do is the cigarette lighter has a USB. So, oh, but I got to turn the car on first. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to turn on the electrics. 
which is turning on my Oryx screen as you can see here it is turning on and all I'm gonna do is plug in this cord that I just received from that package the USB and I'm gonna plug it in to this device now I'm gonna do it USB USB-C in so that the charging is going into it I imagine and so I'm plugging it in here and it immediately lit up let's see what it says okay it says 88 right now we'll see how quickly it goes up to 89 and then I might leave it for a few minutes and see how high I can get and fingers crossed it won't kill my battery. One thing that I was reading about it is that it's really good in extreme conditions, which is great because that's often the time that your battery dies or that you're in need of help and not in a great place. So this is actually good. I'm gonna read the exact temperatures to you. It is good in extreme environments. So up to negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna do a fun little test with this. I'm gonna charge it, but I'm also gonna go put it in the fridge for a while. We're gonna get it nice and cold and then we're gonna test out the function, see if the screen still turns on, see how the battery is, see if the flashlight still works and all that. I was gonna bring it in the house to charge, but I decided to just try and see if it would work in the car because that's important to know for all of you and I will show you. It does in fact work. So I think it's been about 10, 15 minutes. It was at 88, now it's at 94. And you can see the in flashing. So that means it's charging even if you can't see the number going up. Um, but that's really great to know. And I really think this is super useful because you can charge it in the car and this is like completely portable, which is really amazing. Okay, I got a little carried away with other work I was doing and it has been almost two hours that this has been in the fridge. Um, you can see it's getting all cold. and it, Well, it is cold, but it's getting all condensed because we're outside and it's very warm out here. So let's give it a test and see if it turns on. It turns on immediately, literally right away. And it's at the same percentage. That is so impressive. Okay, I was expecting to turn it on. It would at least be like maybe 10% down or a good percent down. It's at the exact same. It was 94 and it's still at 94 after two hours in the fridge, which is amazing because, you know, batteries don't hold their charge as well in cold conditions. So that really goes to show that this does do really well in extreme conditions. And now I feel even better about it being in the car and having it in the winter months, especially here in Canada. That is really great. And just for fun, we're going to test out the flashlight again. One, two, three. There we go. Flashlight is on. There we got our strobe and we've got our SOS. And I'll turn it off. And we're good. Okay, amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my negative and positive terminals. So I have my clamps here and I have my connector here. So I open up the little clasp with the car on it. And I'm going to read what it says. Right now it's flashing red and green. I have the jump starter here and I've plugged in the cable. So I'm going to start by plugging in the red one to my positive cable, which is over here. And I'm getting a helping hand to make sure I do this safely for the first time. And then my negative is back here. So we're going to plug in the black cord to the negative. And as you can see, it just went straight to green, which means it's ready to go. And you can hear the clicking noise. I'll be quiet. So you can hear that clicking. I think that means it's ready. My dad is going to go ahead and start up the car and we can see what it does. I'm going to turn on the device. See what it says before we do anything. All right, it says the voltage, it's 92%, 90% now. And the volt, oh, the battery's going down very rapidly. All right, we're going to do it. Go ahead and start the car. started and all is good now we're gonna go ahead and unplug it and our battery is still at 78% which is really great that was a really great test not only was this Oxalem jump starter cold but also um, it like jump started my car so fast not that my battery was dead but you know what I mean it like it did what it needed to do and it only took a little bit of the battery which is really amazing because then I still have some let's say I was driving somewhere and it died again I still have enough battery to jump start it again or to charge my phone or or I have a flashlight if I need 
um, which is really, really great. I'm so thankful to have this in my car because I really do think it's a great safety thing. And honestly, I think everyone should have it in their car. Whether you often have battery problems or not, it's still great to have, whether it is a gift for someone or a gift for yourself. Safety should always be your number one priority. Another great thing about this Oxlum jump starter is it has a two year warranty. So if anything goes wrong, you can contact the company and they can help you out with that. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the price. Now, the price of this, you would think would be quite steep because it is a lot better than many of those in the market. It's lighter, it has more functions with the flashlight and the battery and being able to charge your phone. It has its own storage case which is really amazing and it's so compact and portable. Uh, it's great, you don't have to carry your own wires and you don't need another car to jumpstart your own. But on top of having all of those really great features, it is actually a better price point than many of the other jump starters on the market and I think that is really amazing. Thank you so much Oxalum. I do have a link for you all to use and a discount code that will be on the screen and in the description below so make sure to check that out if you're interested. I do genuinely think this is a great product for safety. It's just great to have with you so you're never worried or especially if you know someone getting their first car or something like that. This is really great to have and I, you will never see my car without this from now on. Thank you you again, Oxalum, and thank you everyone for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!